Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is indeed wonderful. Father, we worship you. Thank you, Father, for another time in your presence. Thank you because you are God. Thank you because you are awesome. Thank you for another day, another time in your presence. Who is like unto thee? You are God and you are God indeed. We worship you. We praise your name. We give you all the glory for you are the soon coming King. Thank you for your word that you give to us today. Thank you because, Lord God, you lift us up. You raise us, Lord God, by your right hand. Man cannot keep us from you. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, open your Bible with us this morning to Genesis chapter 26. Genesis chapter 26. We'll be reading from verse 17. Genesis chapter 26. We'll be reading from verse 17. Hallelujah. And we will stop at 22. Yes. Now, it said, And Isaac departed thence, and pitched his tent in the valley of Gerar, and dwelt there. And Isaac dig again the wells of water, which they have digged in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. They called their names after the names by which his father has called them. And Isaac's servants dig in the valley, and found there a well of springing water. And the headsmen of Gerar did strive with Isaac's headsmen, saying, the water is ours. He called the name of, and they called the name of the well Esek, because they have strove with him. And they dig again another well and strove for that also. And they called the name of it Sitna. Praise God. 22. And they remove from thence and dig another well. And for that they strove not. And they called the name of it Rehoboth. And they said, For now, the Lord had made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Hallelujah. Praise God. Awesome scripture. And today we'll be talking about the Lord has made room for us. Yes, the Lord has made room for us. See, Isaac has some wonderful qualities, just like a father. Especially with dealing with outsiders and people. That strove with him. You see, he, one of the interesting thing about the scripture was that so when Isaac was in this land and he started flourishing, he was rich and flourishing. Jealousy came out of the people. Hallelujah! And of course, the Philippines did not want him to grow more than he's already grown. Now, note scripture said that the wells have been dug by his father already but the Philistines came and poured sand into it so it simply was these are his possessions they are in this inheritance he's only trying to dig them up again but each time they dug quarrel came and each time that this happened Isaac's servants his headsmen came to him and said master what do we do and he said it's all right let's move on it's all right it happened the first time it happened the second time and it happened the third time. No, and by the third time, they were simply tired. And scripture called it, and scripture said, he called that place Rehoboth. Hallelujah. He didn't call it by the name his father has given to him. He called it a new name. He said, because you know why? God has made room for us. And he did not stop there. He made a confession. And we will flourish in the land. You see, this story around Isaac, gives us a lot of things that we can learn. One, we, we need to understand that not everybody will love us. So out there in the world as you go out, there will be things that will push you right, left and center. But you see the beautiful thing, Isaac also showed us another interesting thing. He refused to give up to defeat. So I don't know about you. Isaac fought the first time, disrove with him. Dog the second time, they strove with him, but he kept on. He was tenacious. He did not give in. He did not give in. His spirit was not a giving up spirit. He kept on 
with that which he believed in so he persisted and you know what he ended up digging a well and nobody fought with him over it now no matter the challenges that you give go through beloved isaac teaches us today don't give up hallelujah and you see another interesting thing we said earlier that you see isaac had a lot of things in common with his father when his father needed to give up stuff for lot he did he did not bother and he went his way in the area in the direction that doesn't seem as if there was much to it and you know what happened he grew oh the man grew you see isaac said give it to them give it to them each time the dog and they they, they fought him they quarreled with him give it to them don't worry let's move on and at last the lord did make room for them and you see look at the interesting part if if you go to the verse 28 of that scripture you find out that even those that strove with him came around came around and they said we have certainly seen that the lord is with thee hallelujah they realize that hey listen he that is with god is majority there is nothing you can do when one is walking under the mandate of heaven so it doesn't matter what is happening in your life people are grabbing and grabbing everything around you and you are left with the one that doesn't make sense it is the rest of god that matters because the way of the lord is the way of giving up on one's earthly rights yes even as our lord jesus did our kingdom is not of this world jesus's kingdom was not of this world so he gave it all up praise the lord the ways of the earth the ways of the world is that of grabbing that's not the way of god's people we are persistent on the journey to heaven because that's the prize hallelujah see the lord is with you that's what they told isaac what about you you see the lord is with them that diligently seek him and he make it the crooked way straight for them and that's why i introduce to you our lord jesus christ today oh he's an awesome friend a great god and he just wants to be your father he wants to walk with you be your everything if you would open up and let him come in and sup with you so if that's the situation you are or your relationship with god is fraught with different things then call the numbers on the screen i'll be there to pray with you god bless you in jesus name Thank you.